Hello and welcome to what is uh, a tutorial on what really is cut-off and what's the difference between cut-off and the gain on uh, in Omnisphere. Um, this question has come from one of my uh, viewers and I thought instead of giving a verb a sort of written explanation I'll, I'll demonstrate and explain it. Uh, it might be a bit clearer this way. So first of all we've focusing on the filter section on Omnisphere uh, and within the filter if we switch, we've got basically a nice or square bright uh, I'll just turn it down a little bit so I'm not overpowering my voice um, so switch the filter on and what happens there is it makes the sound duller, darker and as we increase this cut off we're not making it louder, we're just letting more frequencies of the uh, source square oscillator through. See how it brightens as we increase the cutoff, so, and then it becomes duller as we lower it, so to almost it loses most of its quality. So if, if we just swap over to uh, Cubase a second and I'll just bring up a EQ. It's a similar idea to what happens when we try and do a low pass, high pass on uh, on an EQ. So if we look at this and pretend this is the filter in action here, and we think, right, okay, uh, we've got the cutoff, and the cutoffs are wide open, so we're letting all the frequencies through. But as we move that cutoff down towards its zero point, what we're really doing is cutting the frequencies off like this all the way down to absolutely nothing so this little gap here represents what where we are now on Omnisphere it's sort of like a visual representation of it and as we open the filter let's move that back over here a second we get to this position so I just need to Bring that back up. So when it's in that position here, full, we're literally laying all the frequencies through. So that's what really what cutoff's doing. And that's how a low pass filter works. Now if we use to swap over to a high pass and we go for uh, a juicy 12 decibel. And we start from a zero position. It sounds very nasally. And then when we open it full, it's absolutely nothing. You don't hear anything. This is, in a way, doing the opposite. And it's not quite, but it's like doing the opposite of what the low pass is doing. So if we just swap back again over to our EQ. What we're tending to do now is the opposite. So let's bring that down there. We're sweeping the filter this way towards literally let, letting nothing through so that's your high pass working through so basically lets more of the high end through so when it's and it works in reverse whereas in low pass when we get down to this point we're cutting out all the frequencies in high pass we're making it it, it lets through the frequencies turn it all the way on lets nothing through now what we go here is we've got a bandpass. Now bandpass is um, it's in between a high pass and a low pass. So if you think where they can overlap, uh, let's see if I can sorry bring up per QS one more time. Um, so if I bring that down and bring that down as well, what we're tending to do. So we've got a frequency there. What we're tending to do then is as the high pass and the low pass come together, we're literally moving that along. That's what the band pass is doing. So it lets certain bands through. So when you look at that, it's letting... We're letting the 8.898 um, kilohertz through. So it's just that particular band that we're letting through. So either side of it is being rejected basically. 
Um, we won't get to state variable filters because they're a bit more complicated. Now, if you want to accentuate a particular frequency, we'll just swap back to a low pass filter. If we want to say we get to here, now I want to really accentuate that particular frequency. That's what the res does. So that's what, what res does on the, on, on the sphere. So that's what the cutoff really does. Now, gain is just simply uh, accentuates the, the volume of the actual oscillator. So, well, not the oscillator, the filter itself, sorry. Uh, to, to change the volume of the oscillator, that's what this, this bit here does. But to... So it seems, takes the frequency, but it it allows you to alter the volume of how a filter sounds. That's probably the best way of explaining it. So that, in a nutshell, is the difference between what a cutoff does and what the gain does. Uh, so I hope you found this uh, very short tutorial interesting and helpful. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, ding the bell above, and you'll be notified when the next video is up. And uh, on Thursday, uh, I will have a new album out called Cosmic Voyager Volume 1. And you'll be able to catch that on Spotify, Amazon, and you can also buy a copy from our website, www.biodiode.com. So check out the website on Thursday and uh, you'll, uh, you'll be able to pick up the new album. Thank you very much.